doing my morning reading, and I don't know why, but for some reason I feel led to record while I read in the book of Leviticus. We'll try to do the first five chapters. I don't know if I can fit them all in, but I'm going to do it. Hey, Father, grant me the wisdom to understand what I'm about to read. Lord. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Book of Leviticus, chapter 1. And the Lord called unto Moses, and spake unto him out of the tabernacle of the congregation, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, If any man of you bring an offering unto the Lord, you shall bring your offering of the cattle, even of the herd, and of the flock. If his offering be a burnt sacrifice of the herd, let him offer a male without blemish. He shall offer it of his own voluntary will at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation before the Lord. And he shall put his hand upon the head of the burnt offering, and it shall be accepted for him to make atonement for him. And he shall kill the bullock before the Lord, and the priests, Aaron's sons, shall bring the blood and sprinkle the blood round about upon the altar that is by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And he shall... And he shall flay the burnt offering, and cut it into pieces, and Aaron's son, and the sons of Aaron the priest shall put fire upon the altar, and lay the wood over the in order upon the fire. And the priests, Aaron's sons, shall lay parts the head, shall lay the parts the head and the fat in order upon the wood that is on the fire which is upon the altar. But his inwards and his legs shall he wash in water, and the priests shall burn all on the altar. To be a burnt sacrifice, an offering made by fire, of a sweet savor unto the Lord. And if his offering be of flocks, namely of the sheep, or of the goats, or a burnt sacrifice, he shall bring it a male without blemish. And he shall kill it on the side of the altar northward before the Lord and the priests. Aaron's sons shall sprinkle his blood round about upon the altar. And he shall cut it into pieces with his head and his fat. And, he sh and the priest shall lay them in order on the wood that is on the fire, which is upon the altar. But he shall wash the inwards and the legs with water, and the priests shall bring it all and burn it upon the altar. It is a burnt sacrifice, an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. And if the burnt sacrifice for his offering to the Lord be of fowls, then he shall bring his offering of turtle doves or two young pigeons, and the priest shall bring it unto the altar to wring off his head and burn it on the altar, and the blood thereof shall be wrung out at the side of the altar. And he shall pluck away his crop with his feathers, and cast it beside the altar on the east part, and by the place of the ashes. And he shall cleave it with the wings thereof, but shall not divide it asunder. And the priest shall burn it upon the altar, upon the wood that is upon the fire. It is a burnt sacrifice, an offering made by fire, of a sweet savor unto the Lord. Leviticus chapter 2, starting verse 1. And when any will offer a meat offering unto the Lord, his offering shall be a fine flour, and he shall pour it up, and he shall pour oil upon it, and put frankincense thereon. And he shall bring it to Aaron's sons the priests, and he shall take thereout his handful of the flour thereof. And the oil thereof, with all the frankincense thereof. And the priest shall burn the memorial of it upon the altar, to be an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. And the remnant of the meat offering shall be plate, shall be Aaron's and his sons. It is a thing most holy of the offerings of the Lord made by fire. And if thou bring an oblation of the meat offering, break it in the oven. It shall be unleavened cakes of fine flour, mingled with oil, or unleavened wafers, anointed with oil. And if any, and if thy oblation be a meat offering, break in, in a pan. It shall be of fine flour, unleavened, mingled with oil. Thou shalt part in pieces, 
and pour oil thereon, it is a meat offering. And if thy oblation be a meat offering, broken in the frying pan, it shall be made of fine flour with oil, and thou shalt bring the meat offering that is made of these things unto the Lord. When it is presented unto the priest, he shall bring it unto the altar. And the high priest shall take from the meat offering a memorial thereof, and shall burn it upon the altar. It is an offering made by fire, of a sweet savor unto the Lord. And that which is left of the meat offering he shall be Aaron's and his sons. It is a thing most holy of the offerings of the Lord made by fire. No meat offering which ye shall bring unto the Lord shall be made with leaven. For he shall burn no leaven, nor any honey, in any offering of the Lord made by fire. As for the oblation of the first fruits, he shall offer them unto the Lord, but they shall not be burnt on the altar of for a sweet savour. And every oblation of thy meat offering shalt thou season with salt, neither shalt thou suffer the salt of the covenant of thy God to be lacking from thy meat offering. With all thine offerings thou shalt offer salt, and if thou sh offer a meat offering of thy first fruits unto the Lord, thou shalt offer for the meat offering of thy first fruits green ears of corn dried by the fire, even corn beaten out of full ears, and thou shalt put oil upon it, and lay frankincense thereon. It is a meat offering, and the priests shall burn the memorial of it, part of the beaten corn thereof and part of the oil thereof, with all the frankincense thereof, it is an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Leviticus chapter 3 And if this, and if his oblation be a sacrifice of peace offering, he shall offer it of the herd, whether it be male or female, he shall offer it without blemish before the Lord. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of his offering, and kill it at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And Aaron's sons, the priests, shall sprinkle the blood upon the altar round about. And he shall offer the of the sacrifice of the peace offering, the offering made by fire unto the Lord, the fat that covereth the inwards, and all the fat that is upon the inwards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the flanks, and the call above the liver with the kidneys, it shall take, it shall he take away. And Aaron's sons shall burn it on the altar upon the burnt sacrifice, which is upon the wood that is on the fire. It is an offering made by fire, of a sweet savor unto the Lord. And if his offering for a sacrifice of peace offering, and if his offering for a sacrifice of peace offering unto the Lord be of the flock, male or female, he shall offer it without blemish. If he offer a lamb for his offering, then he shall offer it before the Lord. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of his offering, and kill it before the tabernacle of the congregation. And Aaron's sons shall sprinkle the blood thereof round about upon the altar. And the altar of the sacrifice of peace offering, an offering made by fire unto the Lord, the fat thereof, the whole rump, and the whole rump, and he shall take off hard by the backbone, and the fat that covereth the inwards, and all the fat that is upon the inwards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is upon them, which is by the flanks, and the call above the liver, with the kidneys it shall take, it shall he take away. And the priest shall burn up it upon the altar, and it is the food of the offering made by fire unto the Lord. And if his offering be a, a goat, then he shall offer it before the Lord. And if he and if he shall lay his hand upon the head of it and kill it before the tabernacle of the congregation, and the sons of Aaron shall sprinkle the blood thereof upon the altar round about. And he shall offer thereof his offering, even an offering made by fire unto the Lord, the fat that covereth the inwards, and all the fat that is upon the inwards, 
and the two kidneys and the fat that is upon them, which is by the flanks and the call above the liver with the kidneys. It shall he take away, and all and the and the priests shall burn them upon the altar. It is the food of the offering made by fire. For a sweet savor, all the fat is the Lord's. It shall be a perpetual statute for your generations throughout all your dwellings, that ye eat neither fat nor blood. Okay, guys, we're going to do this all in one day. We're going to do this in one day. Uh, and by this, I mean doing chapters 1 through 5. I don't have time for the next two in this video, but I'm going to get to a part two, and this is all going to be in one day, just to, to get it kind of cleanish. I think I'm going to do a Bible study out of this. I don't know. Uh, but if I do, it'll follow the same pattern that I did with the, the book of Revelation. Uh, just reading the thing in one video and then breaking it down, studying it in the next. I think it's going to follow that pattern. Uh, so yeah, but first I'm going to get through the first five chapters and go from there. And uh, if I take a while or if I don't, I apologize. I didn't really plan this out. It was just in the spur of the moment. 